Cleanup is underway after a train derailment into the Mississippi River in Crawford County. It comes as the county deals with flooding in the area. It happened near DeSoto, Wisconsin yesterday. That's across the Mississippi from Lansing. Two of the three train engines and an unknown number of cars went into the river. Emergency management says the train was carrying hazardous materials along with other cargo. Hazmat crews contained the hazardous materials. Four BNSF employees went to the hospital as a precaution. A section of State Highway 35 is shut down until cleanup is done. And joining us now is Jim Hackett. He's the Crawford County Emergency Management Director. Thank you for speaking with us, Jim. We can only imagine how busy you've been this week as the county deals with both this derailment and flooding. So please, can you tell us what is the status of the hazardous materials cleanup from the derailment? Yeah, they are currently working on cleanup. Uh, operations will go 24 hours a day, different crews. Um, there is law enforcement on scene along with uh, BNSF Hazmat and their cleanup uh, crews. Uh, so it will be a 24 hour operation until cleanup is complete. And your area is also dealing with flooding at the same time. What do you want people there to know about the rising Mississippi? So we're almost at our crest uh, for the flooding. This will be the third highest that we've experienced in history. So just know that as this uh, evolves and the floodwaters start to recede, we will be there to help people with cleanup and help with damage assessments. Are there any anticipated evacuations that could take place given the derailment or the floodwaters? So currently we have 10 displaced families with 30 homes affected from the floodwaters. Uh, we do have a uh, center opened up for anyone that needs a place to go. But the train derailment, no, there is no evacuations in place. A section of Highway 35 is still closed down. That's due to allowing access to the tracks for cleanup, uh, not due to any hazardous materials at this time. And can you walk us through the response of that train derailment? Yeah, so when the train derailment came in at approximately 12.15 p.m., just south of DeSoto, uh, we got the call, we immediately got a hold of the Vernon County Hazmat team and started getting some assessments on what it could be and our precautions. So we immediately shut down a half mile radius for precaution because we did not know what was on the train at that time. Once we found out it was lithium ion batteries, uh, we figured out that the half mile was a good amount for safe response for the public. So the sheriff's office shut, out, shut down that half hour or half mile uh, radius, along with help from the Crawford County Highway uh, Department and Vernon County Sheriff's Office. Then we started to kind of evaluate the situation, how to effectively uh, go about cleanup. And then we were also notified that two of the trail or rail cars uh, did cut loose into the river. And we were able to get a hold of Clayton County Sheriff's Office in Iowa's boat patrol that is part of Crawford County's boat patrol. We partner in that and get BNSF employees on a boat to be able to uh, obtain those two cargoes and tie them off to the shore bank. We were able to detain that was a non-hazardous material in there and uh, there was no risk to the public. So we got real lucky that we were able to uh, shore everything up and then continue on to go down to the lock and dam. Jim Hackett with Crawford County Emergency Management. Thank you, Jim. Thank you.